We are at the peak today, guys, enjoying ourselves. We're gonna go in here and see what they got this time that's interesting. Piggly, wiggly. Or in some cases, hoggly woggly, right, Glenda? Roses are in bloom, guys. The roses are in bloom. You know, remember you heard it from me. Ooh-wee, smell of that. Smell that, guys. Does that smell good? Oh, don't they smell good? Just, oh, yes. Oh, where the roses. Hey, guys, this is smell mojo. Look at that. Ooh, the flowers are in full bloom on the pig. We're going to go in here and check it out. You know, my favorite department. The pickle wickles and the snacks. Guys, I caught a deal on some of these the other day. Oh, man, them things are good. Like a candy pecan. Yes, pecan. Not pecan. A pecan something you pee in, guys. Oh, is that not good? Healthy snacks. Uh, the ones I had were candy coated. Oh gosh, those things were wonderful. Here is some pickle, hot pickle Brussels sprouts. Hmm, that's the Amish wedding. Naturally good. Old fashioned apple butter. There's some apple butter. Bread and butter pickles. Bet you they're not as good as Glenda. Old fashioned sauerkraut. Dill pickle spears. Zesty bread and butter. Ooh, I bet those might be near as good as Granny's, guys. If you haven't tried Granny's bread and butter, you need to uh, watch that video and learn how to make them for yourself. Hot pepper relish. Sweet and sour baby corn. Ooh, wee. Green tomato relish. Glenn and I made some tomato relish, or she called it tomato jam. I finished up some of it the other day and put it in my salsa. It was good. Some good stuff. There's, speaking of salsa, there's salsa. Pickle asparagus spears. Pickle peaches. That's a deal, I think, in the South, too. A lot of people eat those around the holidays. But that's the pickles. And here's the produce, got some 99 cent onions. All kinds of juicy jumbos. And I got some Idaho potatoes. Green Giant brand, it's fresh potatoes. Two for three bucks. That's a pretty good deal, guys. Uh, four pounds. That's not, not too bad of a price on those. Anyway, all good, guys. All good. Well, everybody says that Duke's is the best. I don't think so. I used to like the Bama the best. I haven't had Bama in a while. I don't know, Dukes. I think it's all hype. It's cheaper, $4.99 for a, a quart. That's cheaper than all the rest of it. I don't know if it's any better. All right. Here, I huh? got something to show you. She's always got something. You're all about that ED, ain't it? Chick-fil-A. You know, there you go when you do it, when you when you got it $2.99. Wait a minute, let me look at this one. Where is this? Our favorite is this Polynesian. Mm-hmm. $2.99. Okay, there's your Duke's mayo. Is that mayo sauces? All kinds of sauces. Arby sauce. There's a horsey sauce. I know that's some good there. Ooh, look at this garlic butter sauce. Louisiana. Oh, and look at this fish taco sauce. Fish tacos, Duke's. Game tang. Hot and spicy. Okay, that's your Allegro. Now, I've tried that sauce. It's good sauce, not that particular kind. But that Allegro is good sauce, guys. Country Bob's all-purpose sauce. Now, there your onion. Steak sauce. 
And there you got the bulls. bulls. There's the hinds. They got it in steak sauce. Hind 57. That's just normal stuff there. Hinders barbecue sauce. Any kind, every kind. Crab you, you know what? All. The season's upon us now, guys. But Get I've ready. Got, I've got a surprise for you. Come on. Well, I thought this was a surprise. Hey, I, I think that's a surprise. What you got? Don't tell me. Don't remember, tell me. Remember that winkle pickle surprise? Yes, I made? do. Which one do you think would be the best on that winkle pickle surprise? I don't know. Uh, I, you know, when you get the best, though, I mean, wicked pickles to me is the best. You want to try that wicked pickles on uh, our surprise? Yeah, I think the wicked pickles. Okay, y'all. You're going to have to stay tuned to see what we're going to do with these wickle pickles. Wicked wickles. We also have some other videos about the wickle pickles. We do a taste test. Oh, we yeah. also do a hamburger with the wickle pickles. That's the truth. You'll never guess which one we like the best, guys. So you'll have to check out our other videos and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you can see what's coming up with this wickle pickle. There you go, guys. The wickle pickle surprise. It's on its way, right, Glenn? On its way. So, so stay tuned and ring the bell and subscribe and comment. If you say hi to us, we'll say hi to back. Hi back. We love your comments, so help us out. Uh, our, tr our channel is growing thanks to you. Tell your friends about us. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoy the video. What's she got now? What have you got, Glenda? Oh my goodness, I can't believe the Let pig sells this. I told you this was good stuff, guys, didn't I? Didn't I tell you? Ooh, I'm loving me some full moon chow chow. If I tell you that a rooster dips snuff, look under his wing, you'll find his <laughs> snuff can, partner. Right, Glenda? Right. It's good stuff, guys. You it need is. to try it. You'll have to try it. If you can possibly find that full moon in your neck of the woods, don't buy just one, get two or three of them, guys. You'll be glad you did. What you got, Glenda? Look at this. You know how I say this balsamic vinegar? Balsamic. Makes, makes everything delicious, your fruits and your salads. Oh, yeah. Fat-free. You have to try it's this. It's good Any stuff. It's sweet, but it has no added sugar. Total carbs is two grams. You will love this if you're on a low-fat, low-sugar, low-carb diet. Check it out, y'all. There's you some Vidalia onion chow chow. Vidalias do have some good onions, guys. Five ninety nine for a pint. Can't beat that chow chow. You better try it. Don't forget your pickled eggs when you're in here. Six ninety nine. Chicken eggs. Dill chicken eggs. I would hope these would be dill chicken. Granny's deli egg. Chicken eggs. There you go, ready to go. Don't even have to cook them. All right, guys. Mojo likes some Mojo does. And who don't like some pickled pig feet? Ooh, if you ain't tried them, don't knock them, guys. They're pretty good. Pickled pig feet, pickled sausages. These are good, too. Big John's. Pickled red, red hot, pickled sausage. What else we got? Pig feet, just regular pickled eggs. It's all pickles, guys. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Here's some quail eggs. There you go. Got it all right here. And the pig itself. There you rub. Chicken rub. Butt rub. Rub, rub. Real rub. Twisted Dixie. Real, uh, real rub. Got it all the rub. Got to rub it up it up. I don't know if you, for you who've been down to Natchez, Mississippi, you may remember that cock of the walk restaurant down below the hill, but there's their uh, coleslaw. Man, they had some good coleslaw, turnip greens, and that was where the throw, throw cornbread idea came in. Cock of the walk. There it is right here at the pig. Guys. Come on in and get you some. Okay, y'all. There's our mojo. By the way, let's show them this. And this is our haul. We found some of this rice meal, old-fashioned, I guess, is it? 
That's Red Diamond Coffee. They used to make that in Birmingham a hundred years ago. We used to drink that. But hey, it's got to be good. It's got an old picture on it. <laughs> Wright's Mill. We're going to try it out, but here's our haul for this week. All this healthy food that I'm going to be cooking up. Glenda said these uh, chopped walnuts are, are good for you. They're a good snack. At night, I used to take my handful and eat them, and they're really good and satisfying. Got these, me. Glenda, these would probably be real good for me on a big uh, ice cream or something, wouldn't they? They would be. Wouldn't be good for Glenda. No We're going to be making some treats with those. So y'all stay tuned for our recipes oh. that are going to be coming up. And, and we got the wicked pickles going there. So we're going to be making something really good and special with that, so you'll have to stay mm, tuned. Can't wait, Glenda. <laughs> going to be nothing but good, y'all. Oh, yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting, and we'll say hi to you. Who don't like some hoop cheese, the old-fashioned? Mm. Stick around. You never know. Mm. Thanks, guys. <laughs>